I'm gonna need to see some ID. Hey, nice shooting! Man, Jones, how long have you been doing this? Longer than you think. You sure he's in there? If the intel we got is accurate, he's here. Then let's go. On three. One, two, three. Peely! Peely, you in here, buddy? Jones. What? No! No, this, this has to be on purpose. They were probably holding him here at some point. Your friend was here, but they must have moved them some time before we got here. Damn it! You pieces of freaking... You mother... Ugh! Whoa, whoa, Jones, stop! They know we're looking for him. Why else would they leave that here? Jones, chill! Yelling isn't going to get us any closer to finding Peely. Are you good now? <sighs> yeah. Sorry. Then we're done here. We should skedaddle before someone notices the missing guards. <sighs> Understood. Guys, what happened? Where's Peely? Looks like the intel from Solid Snake was only partially accurate. Peely was there at some point, but they've moved him since then. Damn. Well, how's Jones doing? He could do better. <sighs> well, I'll keep an ear out in case Snake hears anything new. Hope, you should go talk to him. Let's see. 140.85. Ah, uh, got it! Snake, this is Emily calling. This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear, Snake. Looks like the tech guy has finally figured out that glitch with your codec, huh? The glitch with my codec? Yeah, looks like it. So, how'd that rescue mission your bosses went on go? Unfortunately, it looks like that intel you shared was outdated. Peely was moved before Hope and Jones got there. He's been moved again? Hmm. I'm sorry. Intelligence gathering isn't always right on the first time. I'll stay in the field and see if I can pick up anything else. Understood. Well, aside from that, got anything new to report? Yeah, listen. I've seen a lot of weird stuff in my time, alright? I fought a bipedal tank capable of launching nuclear payloads. I once fought a guy in a gas mask, flying around and throwing chairs with telekinesis. I've seen old teammates I thought were dead brought back to life as cyborg ninjas. I've seen AI perfectly impersonate someone, and a man getting possessed by an arm that had been grafted onto him. More recently, I saw a woman use some magic rock to shoot fire from her hands. But this new thing I've heard? This is a new level of weird, even for me. Snake, what are you talking about? You lost me. Get this. Some of the Society Legion soldiers were chatting about sightings of... human-sized turtles. In ninja gear. Running on rooftops. Human-sized ninja turtles running around on rooftops? What the fu- just gonna save that one for later. Hey, Jones. Hope? I'm sorry we couldn't find your friend, but we are going to get him back, I promise. Thank you. 
and thanks for everything you've done so far. I don't know how you're able to deal with this whole class war situation with the society, and helping me find Peely on top of that. I made it my goal to help the good people of this island, and you two are part of that. It does beg the question, though. Normally, the society just executes people who don't agree with their goals. Why go through so much trouble just to keep Peely alive? Uh... Who knows, really? They're all a bunch of Rick Crooks, making decisions that only seem to make sense for them. All I know is, we're gonna make them pay. Damn straight. <laughs> okay, this is gonna sound a little weird, but... Jones... Would you... Uh... What? Would you care to... Guys! Uh, um, what? We just got something new. You're gonna wanna check this out. <sighs> Alright. Snake just got a new lead on a society scumbag that's gonna be out in the open. Which one? Nisha? Oscar? A little lower on the food chain, but still pretty important. It's Killian. He's going to be at a movie premiere tonight. Killian? I'm not familiar with him. Let me fill you in. I've had a couple run-ins with him. Killian runs the ship at Warehouse. They're the ones that deliver packages all over the island. It's a great service, but Killian... Well, he runs the company like a dictatorship. His employees work for long hours for little to no pay. Rumor has it that employees have had to resort to secretly peeing in bottles in order to keep working. He's publicly stated that he wants his employees to wake up terrified each day. He sounds like a real piece of work. So, what's he up to? Well, Ship It also owns its own movie studio. They're premiering a new film over at Ruined Reels tonight, and Killian's gonna be making a rare in-person appearance. Then this is the perfect opportunity to remove Killian from the picture. Shibit's one of the society's major financiers. Okay, wait just a minute. We're gonna take him out? Just like that? Yeah, just like that. It'll be a quick and simple precision strike against the society. But don't you think this would be a perfect opportunity to get some insider information from an actual society bigwig? He could know something about Peely. We could sneak in, grab him, drag him to one of our bases, and find out what he knows. Jones, I understand, but you know what that would mean, right? This isn't like busting into a small motel. One good sniper shot from a hill overlooking the amphitheater, and the society says goodbye to a boatload of their income. On the other hand, what you're proposing is fraught with so many more risks. You guys don't have to help me. I'll do it all myself if I have to. Jones, that's even worse. You won't have to go alone. Wait, what? I'm going with you, Jones. But here's how it's gonna go down. We follow your plan, sneak in, capture Killian, and take him somewhere private. I'll give you a moment to talk to him, and when you're done, we can take him out. Deal? All right, deal. Uh, okay, fine. You're the boss, Hope. We'll support you all the way. Thanks for understanding. The premiere is gonna have a lot of people in fancy get-ups at it. You wouldn't happen to have something for that, would you, Jones? Yeah, I might have something. Alright, uh, will this work? Oh! Okay, wow. You, uh, look... <laughs> wow, you clean up nicely, Jones. I knew there was something nice hiding under that stubble and trench coat. Yeah, that'll, uh, uh work. <laughs> Emily, you mind cleaning up your drool and start preparations for the mission? Uh, yeah, uh, uh sure. Was I actually drooling? <laughs> like a cherub statue in a fountain. Oh god. Uh, I'm gonna just... <laughs> Seriously, Jones, where did you get this getup? Let's just say it's a leftover from a previous life. Before all this. One I left behind, a long time ago. Your old job? 
You've never really told me about it. Well, let's also say that I sympathize with what the employees at Shipped are going through. I've had a few bosses like that in the past. Somewhere along the way, I started questioning if working for them was really worth it, despite the benefits, the protection given to me and my family. I left, started things over. I worked hard to make up for my past mistakes, met a lot of interesting people along the way, people who are heroes. With my old job, I used to just see the endless possibilities, thinking I had all the time I could ever need to fix any mistake. But some mistakes you can't fix. Your... Family. Yeah. Calling it a demanding job would be an understatement. I'm sorry. I'm running low on friends these days, so I can't lose Peely too. I can see why you care for the guy. Believe me. You were always more fun with him around. <laughs> Hope. When you saved Peely and I from being attacked by the society, I knew we had to help. Not just as a thanks for saving us, but because I know from experience that people like the society need to be taken down. If we don't, then things could escalate. And the next thing you know, it feels like reality itself is being threatened. You know? I think I get it. Well, let's get geared up and head out. We've got a movie to catch. Valaria, darling, a pleasure as always to see you. The pleasure is all mine, Mikara. I'm glad my vacation found you well. After all the trouble over the last few weeks from... Hope. I figured a day of wine tasting in country air would do you well. <sighs> Indeed. Shall we begin? The discipline of your employees is quite admirable. As it should be. I pride myself on that. Each guard undergoes five years of strict training and breaking in before they join our staff. Something I picked up from my father. <laughs> if only he could have been alive to teach Hope a thing or two about obedience to family. Oh, perish the thought. Father was far too lenient and trusting to our staff. That's what got him killed when they rose up against him. It's why I make sure to grind it into their little heads every day who's truly in charge. So they won't ever even think to pull something like that again. <laughs> Indeed. But on to more current matters. Having met with that strange man, Montego initiated the other day. Signor Griffin. Yes, I have. The man, in my opinion, is a clown. When he heard my voice, he began speaking in some childlike nonsense. Bapita, boopy, boopity, bapi, or something like that. I think he was trying to speak Italian. <laughs> why would Montagu allow such an imbecile into our inner circle? And why so quickly? Because, Nisha, he is an... Off-worlder. Oh, you mean, like in those books you're researching? How is such a phenomenon possible? Careful, Nisha. Even when I learn more, such information is classified. You know the plans. Montague is quite interested in expanding the society's influence further. And he needs those with connections to other worlds on our side to do that. Even an idiota like Griffin. Mistress Nisha, I have prevailed. 
Good, very good. As for you, hmm, you are a disappointment. Truly, a waste of time and money. Andreas, you know what to do? Right here? Now? Yes, right here and now. Mr. Zanisha, please, I... I... Then... Then it shall be done, mistress. Wait, no, no! Ugh! Very good again, Andreas. But you forgot one thing. What is it? <laughs> you hesitated. A real soldier wouldn't even stop to question my order. Now, go to the infirmary, get yourself patched up, and let the scar serve as a warning. Uh, yes, ma'am. <sighs> Bravo! Very impressive handling, Amika! <sighs> Thank you. So, are you attending Killian's movie premiere tonight at Ruin Reels? Or is it back to your books, researching those relics again? Those relics are the future of the society. If my studies are correct, then there's one even greater than the ones I or Montague have somewhere on this island. Oh, did I tell you? I was able to unlock the power of my ruby the other night! Ah, oh, that's excellent news! I'd call that cause for celebration, wouldn't you? Yes, I suppose I should celebrate. With a night out. I think I will attend the premiere tonight. Besides, I heard the films about Italian history. Question for Thonda. What did you do before joining the Syndicate? <laughs> oh, viewer, this question takes me back to when I was but a young infant Komodo dragon. I aided my family in taking care of our farm, but I was always a chef at heart, and it led me to opening my very own sushi restaurant. Gila! I had a pretty good street rep, as I never tolerated any punks causing trouble. I was recruited to the Peace Syndicate, becoming X's most trusted lieutenant, tasked with keeping a close eye on Syndicator Evie, and swore to keep the peace. Always. <laughs> 